everybody, welcome back. It's Theodore here and today I want to show you guys my camera collection. This is a new room that I'm starting to film in. There's nothing in here right now. It's really empty. So that's probably why you hear the echo. I hope it's not that bad. I did some researching on how to use Final Cut Pro because I finally decided to buy Final Cut Pro. I decided to buy it last week because editing is a lot of work on iMovies and so if I continue to edit on my hair. Oh gosh, my hair, my hair. Mm -mm. Girl, no, not you. I was doing a lot more work with iMovies because I was doing iMovies and then I would go onto Adobe Illustrator and then I would go onto Photoshop and it was just a lot of work. So I decided, you know what, I'll just buy Final Cut Pro. I hope you guys liked that intro. It was a little bit of investigating on how to do that, but yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? Alrighty, let's get right into this collection. And to make it clear, these weren't where my cameras used to be. They used to actually stay on this shelf on top of, not really a shelf, it's like a... And it's just gotten so dusty up there, it's just really dirty, you know? So I decided to move them down here and they look nice in this room, so... Alrighty, so the first camera we're going to be looking at is, is the Rolay Rolimat AF-M. Um, I got this at a thrift store, um, I think last year, maybe last year in 2017. I haven't gotten to use it yet because actually this camera is broken. Um, there is something wrong with the film advancement in here and there's also something wrong with the shutter button, like it's stuck. Um, when I bought it originally, there was film in here and I took it out obviously because I don't know if they already took pictures in it and what if they took like dead people pictures? The owner who had the camera before was like a serial killer and they killed people. Who, who knows? Like you really don't know. So yeah, it's in this camera right now and um, it's because I tested um, the camera out a couple months ago when I first got it for my birthday. But yeah, this one doesn't work at all. So. Um, it turns on, I mean, it turns on the flash, uh, the flash, I don't even know if the flash turns on or not. But yeah, um, you put AA batteries in here. So yep, that is the Rolay Rolay Mat. Um, it doesn't work. I wish it worked though, because this would have been a really cool camera. I've seen some photos online of what these pictures could have looked like, and they looked so good, but I can't use it. Next camera we're going to be looking at is the Konica, the, this is the... The Konica Big Mini, um, somebody online said that these could also be used as a backup for like the Contax T5, I believe. I think so. Uh, this camera is really nice. I like it a lot. It, it works. It works just fine. I've tested it out. I put film in here. I put batteries in here and it works. Um, it has this little LED thing in the back. Is this even LED? Did they even have LED back then? Oh. I don't know. What I read online is that because their um, their wiring is within these doors, it tends to break easily because of that. Okay, next camera we're going to be talking about is this Konica C35 EFP. This is the first ever vintage camera I've ever bought. Um, I bought this years ago. Oh, I'm going to say like five years ago. Um, I came across it at a thrift store like every other camera and it it works But then I'm not because I took pictures on this But I took pictures with with expired film out of 24 exposures. I think I only got like Five eight. I don't know. I it was it wasn't that many this flash pops up like this It's really cute. I really like it and the film advances like this I just, I just love hearing that click, guys. I love it. Look through it like this. 
The next cameras we're going to be looking at are my instant film cameras right here. They're all instant film camera. There are some of them are vintage and some of them are brand new. This is like so popular. Everybody has one of these. The Fujifilm Instax Mini 8. I put a yellow, um, what is this called? A daisy here. I put a daisy on mine because it's cute. And I also put a sticker that says Chase the Sun on the back. You guys have seen this in my um, how to fix Fujifilm Instax Mini 8 video that I posted, I think, in 2016. This is what the camera looks like. You guys all know what this camera looks like. See in the... Did you hear the flash boosting up? It's pretty neat. I don't have any film right now, so... Let's see. Do I have any film right now? Oh. No, I don't have... No, I don't have any film in here. This is the Instax Fujifilm Wide. Um, it's the Wide 300. I love this camera a lot. I actually took it to Taeyang's concert last year and um, it may look bulky, but I mean like, it wasn't that bad. I, I really liked it. This is what I have on the back. This belongs to its Theodore. And with the Gudetama on the back and a pineapple. And in order to turn this camera on, you go like this. Nice. I'll show you guys again. This, um, this zoom is huge. And it can't go very far. But, um, yeah, it, it works. I like it. It's not bad. It's a nice film camera. I do have film in here right now, so I'm not going to open it. I got some Instax wide film right here. And let me show you guys two of the pictures from Taeyang's concert. Okay, so there's one of them. I don't remember what he was singing. Um, might have been Darling, maybe? And then this picture. But dude, if you guys ever get the chance, go to one of Taeyang's concert. It is the best thing you will ever do in your life. He's such an entertainer and singer. He's just so fun to watch. So yeah, I really enjoyed that concert. Next camera we're going to be talking about is the Polaroid One Step 2. You guys have already seen this in my Polaroid is back video. Um, that video has a lot of views. Thank you so much, you guys. But here it is. Yeah, no strap or anything. Um, it's nice, I like it. Next camera I want to talk about is this yellow, which I think somebody painted this because I bought this vintage um, at a thrift store and somebody had painted yellow over it and at first I thought, whoa, a yellow Polaroid camera, jackpot, but no, like, Somebody spray painted it. Who is not smart enough to not cover this part at least with like tape or something? And then there's another thing. There was like yellow particles inside of the lens. I actually had to open this up and I cleaned everything. I cleaned it with a Q-tip and um, alcohol, rubbing alcohol. And yeah, now it's clean. But I mean like they did a pretty crappy job painting this. From the looks of it, I believe this camera might have been the um, one step button. The button. The camera that's all gray. I really like that one, but yeah, well I guess. I hope it works. I've never tried it yet, so we'll see if it works. So you can only use SX70 film. This is when these cameras were made in the USA, so this has been a while. I wonder if I call this toll-free number for assistance if there's actually anybody on the other line. <laughs> what I like about this camera is there's actually an eyepiece that I can actually put my eyes on like this. You guys see what I'm talking about? With the new one step, there's really no eyepiece. There's just like this this thing that looks through the camera. I mean, like, I, 
it's cool. I mean, like, it's okay, but it makes me tilt the camera up. Do you guys see what I'm talking about? It makes me tilt the camera up rather than making it face this way. I don't know. It's just me, though. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm doing it wrong. But, like, I have to go like this. And with me, I wear glasses. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I just feel like I like this better than this. This is actually more comfortable. It's, everything is blacked out. I don't see anything other than what's going through this view, view, um, viewfinder. Whereas this, I can see everything right here. Next camera that I have is the Polaroid. Oh yeah, by the way, I have a rubber band around this camera because um, sometimes, even if you lift this up just a little bit like this, the flash will start up and that loses your battery and you don't want that. You don't want to waste your battery that you cannot replace just because you're holding the camera wrong. So um, that's why I have a this nice big rubber band around it. This is the camera. This is the Polaroid One Step. This is their talking camera. This is so cool. Cheers for me, cheers for you, everybody cheers around. I want you to say, hey, good boy, hey, hi. Yeah, kind of creepy stuff. And then also I have another, this belongs to It's Theodore and also a Gudetama guy right here. If you guys don't know Gudetama, look him up. He's legit. He is an egg. He is a cartoon egg, like my spirit animal. I just want to lounge around all day and that's basically what he does, is lounge around all day on toast and stuff. Do you see that? I do have film in here, so that's why it's turning on. Otherwise, it won't turn on. Oh my god, my, my head. Mm. Cray cray. Cray cray. Okay, so after I'm done, I usually just put the battery over it. Because look, even, even now, when it's not open, this light is on because I'm holding it backwards. And I don't want my battery to get wasted. So yeah, I have it like this and the battery doesn't turn on. Next camera I have is the Lomography Fisheye camera. Um, I've never used this camera. I'm not sure if it works or not, but I do have a battery in here so the flash will come on. Uh, how do I turn on the flash? flash. What I like about this camera is that it's so compact. I've never taken a picture on this camera ever. Um, I just really liked it and I got it. I think I did get it at a thrift store for like $1.99. Ah, it worked! Little portion right here is leather. So yeah, that's pretty nice. But it gets dirty really easily. Can you see? Next camera we're going to be talking about is this Lomography San La Sardina. I got this for my birthday. That was in Vlogmas Day 5, I believe. You guys have seen it already. It's a pretty cool camera. And this tiny, tiny, tiny lens. It's so small. But yeah, I like this camera a lot. It's really chic and fancy and classy. The only thing that I'm worried about is like whenever I'm wearing makeup, like, I'm afraid to put my face on this because it'll get my camera dirty with makeup. So, I guess that's the only downside. But other than that, it's a pretty cool camera. This Diana F Mini. This is the small version, and I have taken pictures with this before. Um, and I also have a lens cap for this because I've lost this lens cap before. Um, so now I have this lens cap um, string thingy for it and it works pretty well. The pictures were, they were, they, they were what you expect Lomography to be like, but I mean like, I don't know, it might have been because I used expired film or something, but I took pictures, but either they were way, way, way too dark or way overexposed. So yeah, ever since, it's just been laying here Oh, not here, like laying on top of my closet. Yeah, it's a cute camera though, I really like it. 
You guys have probably seen this video before, but this is the Holga GCFN, the glass, the glass lens one. I intentionally bought this camera so I could use it with the instant back but I got a really bad instant back and so now I don't even use this camera. I don't ever see 120 film anywhere and I don't know it's just a really weird format for me so I haven't really bought any film for that. Oh. Fits this way in there and you use this knob on the bottom to advance your, your film and to like let the film come out, but that's only happened once for me, and that was when I first got it. And if you're curious, I did get a refund for this because they sent me a faulty instant back, so I'm not gonna pay for it. This camera by itself, I think it was like 40 something, $50. This was 30 something dollars. Next one we have is the Holga 120S. I believe this is the first Holga that's ever came out. Um, I actually got this at the thrift store for 99 cents. Yeah, believe it or not, 99 cents. And it didn't come with the back at all. So I put the back for the Holga GCFN onto this. It is the Pentax MG. I actually got it with this guy. They came in a bag together, these two guys. They're really heavy. I don't think I want to take these anywhere. They are so freaking heavy. They're made out of hard metal. I'm not even sure what kind of metal this is. I don't really have any lens that will fit for him. So he has, he only has this lens, um, this, what is this called? Um, a camera cap, a camera cap. It works. I know it works because I put film in here and it works like you see the meters inside those are the only things that require batteries because when you look inside oh my god i'm gonna show you guys when um you look inside of in here there's like um a light meter and that light meter requires like this tiny little battery underneath if you cover it with this camera cap you shouldn't be losing any battery so sorry my dog is sleeping right here he's just Norm. He works. The film, the film advances. Okay, next camera we're gonna be talking about is the Pentax K1000. I think this is one of the popular vintage cameras nowadays to use. Um, I personally have not used it yet, but um, it's really nice and sturdy, and it's very heavy. I want to say this weighs as much as my MacBook Air, um, which is like. Three pounds, I think. I can actually look through here and pretend like I'm taking pictures. It's nice, and I even made this leather camera strap for it. I, I made it. I made this camera strap. Do you see that? Do you see that? So cute, I love it. The last camera I have is the Canon EF, AKA Black Beauty. I believe this is called the Black Beauty because it's black and it's just it's just so beautiful. Like really like when you look at it, it's just a beautiful camera. Look at it. It's it's beautiful. Okay, so I have to turn it on in order for it to work though, but in order for it to release the shutter advance, the film advance. So whenever I want to turn it off, I have to actually push this film advance um, knob in and then push this down. Um, I believe this camera was made in like the 70s, might have been the 60s, I don't remember. But it's a really, really, really old camera and it's quite heavy too. It's not as heavy as this one, um, but I feel like if I put a lens on this one, this will be really heavy. It was quite heavy. Alrighty, thank you so much you guys for watching my video on all of the cameras that I talked about. And if you guys would like me to do more camera related videos, please let me know down in the comment section. Um, I think the next video I might do is a drama related video because I am way overdue for that. And also, if you guys are curious, the drama that I'm watching right now is called I Am Not A Robot. 
I'm actually on episode 25 right now. Um, right? 25. Okay, so he's at the point right now where he already knows that she's a robot. So that's the episode that I'm on right now. So I really wonder how many episodes this drama has. Like, I, I wonder if there's like 30 something episodes. <laughs> But um, the episodes are quite short. They're only 30 minutes long. So each week to have four episodes makes sense. Alrighty, thank you so much you guys for watching me talk about all my cameras and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.